Hey guys, Mr. McSweeney here to help you out with some of the restaurant and places and stuff like that. Um, so keeping things really easy, uh, cafe is any place where you're going to go and get coffee, um, like Starbucks, things like that. Although if it has a name like Starbucks, then you just say, vamos a Starbucks. A restaurante is just a restaurant, that one's nice and easy. And a tienda is any store. Uh, most of the time when they talk about tiendas, they're talking about these little pocket convenience stores that are actually in neighborhoods like you'll walk out of your house and go next door and there'll be a little tiny convenience store in someone's front room. It's actually kind of nice. So there's a few things about being in a restaurant that you should know. Um, one, typically you're actually going to someone's house uh, because oftentimes the restaurants are in like their living room or their kitchen and they're actually bringing you in and transform, transform their house. So be really formal. Some really useful words are menu, which is menu, or Sometimes they'll call it a carta. The cuenta is the bill. So at the end, you just say, la cuenta por favor, and they'll bring that to you. So a few ways to order food is you can use the verb desear, which means to desire or wish. It's a lot nicer than saying querer. Querer can be a little forceful. You're always gonna wanna use the usted form. So for instance, saying, por favor, usted me da, and then you say whatever, or usted me trae, um, in both of those, the first one, the me da, is like, will you give me, basically? Uh, it's in the present tense. And the next one is, will you bring me? Um, it's just a nice way to ask since you're using the usted form. Oftentimes you'll hear the verb pedir, which has a stem change, um, an e to an i stem change, and they'll ask you, you know, que pide usted? Um, and you can ask, yo pido? And basically that's to request or to ask for something. Um, not like ask a question, but you're asking actually for something. A good verb to use also is necesitar. So like if you order soup and you don't have a spoon, um, you can use all those other things like usted me da una cuchara. Um, you can also say necesitar. So yo necesito una cuchara. Also go back to your gustar-like verbs and it's always nice to use some of those like me falta una cuchara. Your actual order is called an orden. So you'll hear people say, Su orden, por favor. And su is the usted form for uh, the possessive adjectives, right? Saying your order. Um, it's a being really informal, which they probably won't be. They'll say tu orden, por favor. Uh, there's a verb costar, which has an O to U E stem change. And you're going to ask cuanto, which is the, the same question word we use in cuantos años tienes, which is how old are you or how many years do you have? So you'll say cuanto cuesta. And what you're asking is, how much does it cost? You can also ask questions um, about what they sell. So sometimes they might not have a menu posted or you might want something else. Um, so vender is the verb to sell. So you can ask, uh, ustedes venden pizza or whatever you're looking for. Ustedes venden Coca-Cola. Uh, that way you can kind of find out if you can pedir that thing. And then finally, an, a really good useful word is mesero or mesera if it's a girl, and that's just your waiter. So, um, you know, always introduce yourself to that. Be very polite, because remember most of the time you're in their house. I hope this helps. Good luck.